have thought that there are so many phenomena in the universe that we didn't know about until now. James Webb has now discovered something so improbable that it shouldn't actually be there. Scientists are faced with the mystery of how so many planets could detach themselves from their stars far from our home in the Orion Nebula and now travel freely through space. These planets are not alone. They have come together in such large and unusual numbers that researchers speak of a mysterious mass phenomenon. We have to face the possibility that all our previous ideas about the universe were wrong. Scientists eagerly awaited the time when the James Webb Telescope would finally turn its sharp eyes on the Orion Nebula. This fantastic cloud of gas and dust in the constellation Orion is one of the brightest and most visible nebulae in the night sky and a rich star-forming region. So many new stars are born in the Orion Nebula that researchers can perfectly study the individual stages of stellar development here. What was new thanks to James Webb? Quite simply, NASA's new space telescope looks into this region in more detail than any other telescope before. For the first time in the history of stellar exploration, we can not only see the brightly shining stars and baby stars in the Orion Nebula, but also spot comparatively tiny exoplanets. And this is exactly where the incredible happened. Researchers discovered a whole series of Jupiter-like planets. This is not unusual at first, because ever since we have been able to see and study exoplanets, we have known that Jupiter-like gas giants are common in the universe. However, these distant Jupiter-like planets turned out to be highly peculiar. They moved completely detached from the gravity of their stars and in a double pack, 40 jumbos tumbling freely through space. At first, it sounds incredible that a large number of planets detach themselves from their stars and then move through space as free planets. The phenomenon of vagabonding single planets is not new, but the objects discovered in the Orion Nebula have two more peculiarities that shocked scientists. The gaseous planets each wander around with an astonishingly similar partner as a free binary planetary system. And so far, scientists have discovered 40 of these bizarre formations. Individual vagabond planets that wander through the universe detached from their star have so far been considered a very rare phenomenon in astronomy. 40 detached planets relatively close together suggest a strange mass phenomenon. The fact that these planets also travel through spaces in packs of two adds to the astronomical oddity, something researchers never thought possible. The mysterious objects were given the name Jumbos for Jupiter mass binary objects, and now researchers are busy trying to find an explanation for the phenomenon. Now, you may be asking yourself why researchers so often claim that this or that should not exist in space, or that it is quote-unquote impossible when it is clearly there. This is because astronomers not only observe the universe, they also try to describe it mathematically and physically in order to obtain a scientifically comprehensible picture of the universe. To do this, researchers formulate guiding principles and basic rules. The two most important in astrophysics are Newton's laws of physics and Albert Einstein's equations of relativity. There are also a few other physical theorems on dynamics and galaxy movements. All phenomena in the universe must be theoretically compatible with these formulae. If they are not, either there is something wrong with our formulae or the observations are wrong. James Webb shows further impossibilities. Since James Webb went into service in the summer of 2022, the foundations of our natural science have been under pressure. This telescope is revealing one discovery after another that no longer fits into the old patterns. You could say that this telescope is pushing the boundaries of our science. First, James Webb observed very old and astonishingly advanced galaxies that are not compatible with our cosmology. This was followed by black holes, which are also far too old and too large to be explained by the old standard models. Then came the discovery of a mysterious formation behind the Pandora Galaxy Cluster, which is far too large to exist there. And now James Webb has served up the jumbos to the astonished scientists. All these discoveries show that there is something wrong with our previous formulas because they are impossible according to our old physics. But if they are clearly there, it means for our scientists that it is not the newly discovered object that is impossible, but that their calculations and formulas are wrong. This can be bitter, but also exciting because these objects give researchers important new clues as to the true nature of our universe. We have already explored a great deal, but we still don't know everything about our universe, and some of the biggest questions have remained unanswered. 
The new observations are now creating a detective job for astronomers and cosmologists. They have to classify the new discoveries and revise old theories. In the case of the jumbos, there is something wrong with the previous statistical values in the universe. Statistics deals with trends, frequencies, and probabilities in the universe and is based on fixed mathematical quantities. Statistically, an extremely rare phenomenon such as the jumbos must be just about explainable as a single occurrence. But in a mass of 40 pairs, it becomes clear that there is more to the phenomenon than a statistical outlier. Statistically, jumbos account for almost 10% of all wandering planets observed by JWST in the Orion Nebula. This proportion is too high to be an exception and could describe a new rule that we have not yet recognized. The fascinating thing is that we hardly know anything about the exoplanets in the universe so far. Here, our research is at the very beginning. It's possible that jumbos are normal, and we didn't know this because we didn't know them from our own solar system. Out of an estimated trillion exoplanets in our galaxy alone, we have so far only identified 5,500 with certainty and examined an even smaller number in more detail. We don't yet know what is normal on a planetary scale in the universe and what unknown phenomena exist. The jumbos could be the prelude to uncovering a whole series of strange planetary phenomena. How do vagabond planets form? Science currently has four standard answers to the intriguing question of how planets detach from their stars. Dynamic interactions can cause planets to be flung out of their original orbits, or close flybys of other stars can pull planets out of their original systems due to their gravity. Large planets can gravitationally influence each other in a system, which can lead to one of them being thrown out of the system. Researchers call this planet-planet scattering. When multiple star systems disintegrate, dynamic instabilities ensure that planets are catapulted out. Within densely populated star-forming regions, such as the Orion Nebula, strong gravitational interactions prevail, meaning that these planets may have been exposed to extreme forces. But what triggers this peculiarity? Even if there are strong gravitational interactions regionally in the Orion Nebula, the number of 40 Jupiter pairs is still strange. It can hardly be that all these pairs come from one and the same star system. Even if they were ejected from neighboring star systems, it would be mathematically impossible for this to happen 40 times in 40 neighboring star systems, with a total of 80 Jupiter-like planets. There must be a structure, a common trigger, or a very specific force behind the phenomenon. But what is it? Researchers will still need quite a while to be able to answer this question adequately. The jumbos show that we are still at the beginning of our research in space and that our mathematics and physics urgently need to be expanded and improved. Are vagabond planets dangerous? Imagine that there are free-roaming planets, stars, and even black holes in our universe. Where otherwise everything follows its orbits in a nicely regulated way, it occasionally happens that individual objects are thrown out of the gravitational fields of order or that they move on completely different orbits than all other objects. But how can this happen? Planets can be separated from their stars, and we have already looked at the reasons for this. Stars can also be detached from the gravitational order and from systems. This often happens with binary or multiple star systems, and such free stars are often captured by other stars. It's possible that such a system exists directly in our cosmic neighborhood. The Proxima Centauri, or Alpha Centauri system, just over four light years away, consists of three stars, two of which were probably born as a binary system, and the third, Proxima Centauri, was probably attracted by the other two and bound to a triple system. In our own solar system, scientists suspect an exciting case of a vagabond planet. Closer examination of Neptune has revealed that this planet is so unusual that it may have originated in another star system, escaped there, and then been attracted to our sun. The third orbiting objects could be black holes. This idea is particularly scary for us because most of us would prefer these ravenous black monsters to be far away and immobile. But researchers have shown that there are wandering black holes that move through their galaxies and change location more dynamically than, for example, black holes that are static at the center of galaxies. The wonders of the interactions of gravitational forces in the universe allow for many extremes and peculiarities. However, 40 free-floating binary exoplanet systems, all of which are roughly the same size and weight, were previously not considered possible by science. The discovery could have far-reaching consequences and open the doors to new dimensions of physics. 
Since James Webb and some precursor telescopes have given us ever better opportunities to observe exoplanets, astronomers have had to put up with a few shocks. In the search for Earth-like planets, researchers initially discovered that no two planets out there are exactly alike, yet there are astonishing similarities. Planets of the gas giant type, such as Jupiter and Saturn, are surprisingly common. We have discovered a mega-Saturn that has three times as many rings as our own Saturn and whose gravitational pull is so powerful that it crushes everything around it. Gigantic water worlds were another surprise that no one had expected. In fact, these planets make up an astonishingly large proportion of all exoplanets discovered to date. Scientists refer to them as Hycean worlds or mini-Neptunes. Mostly covered by water, these planets could be true wonder worlds that offer even better living conditions than our Earth. The richness of the universe thus also continues at the level of the distant planets. It seems as if our cosmos is an inexhaustible treasure trove of phenomena, rarities, beauty, size, and possibilities. Become a subscriber now and be part of every new video. Of every